for those of you who don't really entirely understand how capoing a banjo works, if you capo like on the second fret, your fifth string remains unaltered. To adequately compensate the fifth string, you have to have some sort of fifth string capoing device, and that's where this comes in. Simply put it on the string down here, slide it up to where you want it to hold the string, and you just tighten that little set screw. There's a few things that make this real handy. One is it's the only capo you need. Some people like to go with the fifth string spikes. That is professionally the most used capo. These work great in addition to that because it's not really practical to have spikes every single place on the fretboard. Another thing that's nice about this style of capo is it doesn't make the fifth string go near as sharp. And the third thing is that this type of capo actually holds the fifth string up off the fingerboard. And when you're not using them, just pulling it off and you can stick it right on a string up here behind the headstock and tighten that little screw down and it'll just rest right there until you need it.